Rather, in the physics laboratory, we use one of these. What's this called? A oscilloscope. Very good. It's a little like a television set, isn't it? It makes a picture. And this picture is wiggling around in response to my voice. And that's because this oscilloscope is connected to a microphone. And the microphone is amplifying my voice and feeding it into the oscilloscope. Now, you see how complicated the wave that corresponds to human speech is. Very complicated indeed. But I have here some other sounds I can make that are much simpler. What's this? That's right, it's a tuning fork. It's a little U-shaped piece of metal. You strike it with a mallet and it makes a sound. What I'd like you to do is to look at what the sound looks like on the oscilloscope, and you may need to look at, through the television monitor to see this. So here we go. So you see, it's a very regular up and down. It's the simplest kind of wave. We call it a sine wave. It has a single frequency associated with it. And here's another tuning fork. Do you think this will make a higher pitch? Yeah? Lower pitch. Lower pitch. Let's see. Well, it makes a lower pitch, and let's see what it looks like. So you see, this is also a very regular kind of wave, but it's a lower frequency. And if you looked carefully, you should have noticed that it's a longer wavelength. It's a longer distance between the waves. Now, we could do this with lots of different musical instruments. I just have one other here that I'd like to show you. It's not really a musical instrument. It's a whistle. Let's see what that looks like. So you see, it's a very complicated kind of sound. Now, you know, every musical instrument has its own distinctive wave shape. And that's how you can tell one musical instrument from another, even though they're playing the same note. And we could have brought down lots of musical instruments, but instead, in the back of the room, we have a music synthesizer keyboard. And we can show you, for example, what a clarinet sounds like. So look on the oscilloscope. Okay, how about strings? How about a flute? You see, a flute is pretty close to being a sine wave, isn't it? But every musical instrument, even though it was the same note, sounds different.